Hey everybody, it's Internet Consultant uh, Ryan Dorn, and today we're going to be uh, working with uh, Photoshop. I'm actually going to be in Photoshop a CS5 on a Mac. But the process, whether you're on a PC or Mac, is going to be similar. And we're going to be creating uh, today an animated GIF file uh, for an advertisement. So I want to go File, New, and I want to create uh, the correct size of the ad. So it's going to be a 300 by 250 banner ad. Make sure you set the resolution at 72. If you don't, and what's going to happen is you're going to have a file potentially that's 300 dpi and it's going to be too big okay for most so let's call this uh let's just call this uh, ryan uh, test banner and it's going to be a 300 by 250. click okay all right so here we are and what i'm gonna do i'm just going to go ahead and call this one where you just use the text and i'm going to call uh this is layer uh, number one okay and if i want to make this text bigger uh, and obviously i'm going to go view and uh, I'm going to, I'm sorry, window, I'm going to choose character. And then here's my font size. So let me go make that 30 so I can see it. Okay. All right. So that's going to be my first layer. So on this, you could put a picture or, you know, whatever. All right. Now I need my next layer. So I'm going to go layer, new layer. And this is going to be uh, layer number two. Okay. What I'm going to do just so I can see what's going on in my animation, I'm going to shut off layer one. And let's go ahead and do uh, layer number two. So this is we're just going to put on here. This is layer number two. All right, again, so this is in an animation. So your first layer is going to be here. Okay, as we turn these little eyeballs on and off. So layer one, then it's going to go to layer number two. Then it's going to go to layer number one. Then it's going to go to layer number two, depending on how we loop it. Okay? Now you notice that what I've done is I'm going to go window. Okay? And in CS5, I'm going to go animation. So I can see the animation. Okay? Down here below. And what I want it to do, I want it to loop forever. Do you see this right here? Loop forever. So here's my first frame, okay? And uh, what do I want to appear in my first frame? My first frame, I just want layer number one, okay? And how long, okay? I want it to appear for one second. I'm going to hit this button here to go ahead and make my next frame. Okay, so here is layer number two. What do I want in layer number two? I just want the contents from layer number two. And how long do I want that to appear? Let's just say I want that to appear for two seconds. Press play, and we can watch this actually occur. Okay, boom, boom. And that's what it's going to look like in your animated GIF file. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and go and, uh, and stop that. Pause it. Okay? Now, how long do you want it to loop? I'm going to say I want it to loop forever. Most interactive advertising bureau standard sizes say three times. Then it's got to uh, quit. Okay? Now I need to save this uh, for the web. So I'm going to go File, okay? And I'm going to do Save for Web and Devices. Now, if you're an earlier version of Photoshop, okay, what you're going to do is create your layers here in main, the main Photoshop program. Down here in the lower left, at the bottom of your toolbar, you're going to click the button for Image Ready. It's going to take you over to Image Ready, which is going to look exactly like this. In Image Ready, you're going to do File, Save, Optimized As. In CS5, instead you're going to go File, Save for web and devices. Now you're going to get over to this screen here. And what you're going to do in this screen, it's very, very easy. Okay, You're simply going to, you can preview it right here if you want by clicking preview. And that will open it in your default browser. All right. For the most part, everything here is already going to be selected for you. But you can go through and make all kinds of changes. Just make sure it's 300 by 250. And then you're simply going to click save. And that's going to allow you to save it over to whatever folder that you want to place it in. Now, if you're not sure exactly how it's going to look, I encourage you then to choose Preview. So if you click Preview, it's actually going to pull up a web browser. It's going to automatically write a little snippet of code for you, and it's going to show you what your animation is going to look like. And it's going to loop through it three times. And then to get back, just simply close your web browser and come back to your program and click Save. Altogether, that's it. It's pretty easy to do an animated GIF file. Obviously, this is just the basics. If you need more help, reach out to me. My email address is pretty simple. It's just ryan at ryandorn.com. The last name is spelled D-O-H-R-N. And I'm an internet consultant and would be happy to help you, your company, or your customers. It's, again, it's just Ryan Dorn. It's ryan at ryandorn.com. Take care. Hope this was helpful and good luck with CS5.